This is the fastest router I have ever owned. Today we are looking at the ASUS ROG Rapture GT AXE 16000 Wi-Fi 6E quad band gaming router. When this was released, it was the first Wi-Fi 6E quad band gaming router in the world. 16,000 Mbps. So it has one 6 gigahertz band, two 5 gigahertz band, and one 2.4 gigahertz band. It has two 10 gigabit ports, one 2.5 gigabit port, quad core 64 bit CPU, pro AI protection. That's by Trend Micro. You will need to give them permission. Game acceleration, AI mesh, and of course, no gaming router is complete without some RGB. Some information at the back. So it's letting us know the 2.4 gigahertz band speed and the 2.5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz. All four bands are the fast bands, they're four by four. You can also run two network providers with this one router. Use this with the workstation. Built as the ultimate AI mesh router, you could use two of the same routers. So you can either select the six gigahertz band as the dedicated wireless backhaul. Remember that does have short range or you could select one of the five gigahertz band. I have some information We have our QR codes here, so you could download the app from Google Play or the App Store. So there are two ways to set this up. You could either set it up with the app or you could set it up using your computer. Both ways are really easy to set up. I'm on EE here in the UK, 900 down and 110 up. Advanced Wi-Fi helper tip. VIP warranty notice. So make sure to register your router because here in the UK you get three years warranty with this, but you have to register that. Safety, quick setup guide. Power cord, a two pin one. Three pin power cord, a power brick. It's a barrel type connector. It has some information there if you're interested. Cut six ethernet cable. This is a large router this. So you could either keep the antennas like this or you could either pull them back. So if you look at the antenna, it's got these two little gaps there on each antenna and it's got some there as well. I think that's all part of the airflow because this is a powerful machine this. This plastic here is like, um, it has a glass effect. It's got a film on there. I'll take that off later on. We've got some information there. So when the router's on, they will light up. It'll be the internet. And if you're using the 10 gig port, if you're using the 2.5 gig port, and it's the different bands here, six gigahertz, five gigahertz, five gigahertz, and then 2.4 gigahertz, power on. So on this side, we have DC in, power 2.0 USB and 3.0 USB. Reset, four gigabit LAN ports, 2.5G slash 1G one port. I'll be using an ethernet cable. One end would go in here and the other end would go to my open reach ONT box because I only have 900 coming in. And then on this side, you have two 10 gigabit ports and one can be used for one as well. So if you are lucky enough to have faster speed, faster than 2.5G, then you could use these ports as well. So people would say this is future proofing because you've got the 10G ports. If you have two of these routers, you could use them in AI mesh mode using the 10G ports. That's what it looks like from the bottom. You can't wall mount this. You have WPS and LED. So you could turn that LED light off as well. So if you put this in your bedroom, you could turn that off. So you could see the router is fully set up. You can see here, I've put a speed test in. That's from the app. I have taken a speed test. I also did a speed test using an ethernet cable to my PC. It was still over 900. This speed test, is taken using my Samsung S21 Ultra, which sports Wi-Fi 6C. I'm not far from the router, and that's it, I'm afraid. No more speed tests, because this router didn't perform as good. Obviously, there's more to this router than just Wi-Fi. It has two 10 gig ports. If you use a NAS or home station, it will be useful for you for that. For me, I only needed it for Wi-Fi and it did not perform good at all. So like me, if you are thinking of getting this router because of its range, don't. It did not have good range. And again, you're watching this video now. I used this router a few months ago. That's when I did the speed tests 
I'm sure there will be a better firmware out now. Reviewing routers is really difficult because I'm giving you my experience. You will get a different outcome because your house is different, different layout, different materials used. The materials used in my house, as I've mentioned previously in all my uh, router review videos, my house was built in 2016 and the materials used in this house do impact Wi-Fi i'm only giving you my experience if you have used this router let me know in the comment section below what you think of this router so that was my experience i hope you found this video useful if you did please leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video